Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Corona override material for your architectural visualization projects. Using a clay material is really useful to set up your initial lighting, cameras, or present the project. We can even find recurring issues like overlapping geometry, noise, or floating objects. To set up the override material, we need to access the render setup. Press this icon or F10. Go to the scene tab, and then on the general settings, we have the render override section. We're going to press the material override checkbox. If I don't have any previously material that I want to use on my scene, I usually what I do is press the none button. After this, I'm just going to select a corona material and then press OK. This is going to apply the select material to all the objects in our scene. This includes the window. To have the sun and environment lighting illuminating our room, we need to exclude some of the windows. To do this, we have two different options. The first option that we have is the plus sign button. What this is going to do is going to add the currently selected object that you have in your scene. So I'm just going to select one of the windows that I have, and then I'm going to press the plus sign button. Now you can see my window is going to change and it's not going to have the override material anymore. Now, I need to do exactly the same for the windows that I have on the right. And then I need to press the plus sign button. And then after this, we're going to have the sun and the lighting illuminating our room. So the second option that we have is really useful if you need to add multiple objects to the exclusion. And this is especially good if you are using selection sets or you actually have all your materials with the correct naming. To do that, we first need to click on the other button where it says object excluded. The exclude and include screen is really easy to navigate. On the left side, we're going to find all the objects that we have on the scene. On the right side, we can select if we want the objects to be included or excluded from the material override. To add new objects, the only thing that you need to do is select them on the left side. So we're going to be selecting a few of the ones called Lauren Sofa, and we're going to also be selecting the floor in this case. Then press the button that we have in the center to move it to the right side. Then press the OK button. Now you can see that we now have a few objects excluded. So we're going to be adding a few more. One last useful tip that I will mention to everyone is we can add a little bit of occlusion to the material. To do this, open the material editor. You can press this button or press the letter M. We're going to be moving this, press it, and then drag it into the material editor. Click instance. So we're going to be creating an instance of that material. So any changes that we're doing on the material editor are actually going to be transferred to this material automatically. Next to the diffuse color, you can click, drag, and then we're going to go to maps, Corona, and then Corona AO. You can fine tune it a little bit. What we're going to be doing is first the unoccluded color, we're going to change it to a mid gray. So we can actually go to 140 little bit too dark, we're going to be changing this to 185. The occluded color, we don't want it to be as dark as it is right now, so we're going to be changing this to more like a mid gray, something like 97 or 100. And we're going to be reducing the match distance. So right now we have 100 centimeters. So what we're going to be doing is changing this to 20 or 15. Now this looks better. It's a little bit dark on the back. If you want, we can actually change this more so we can go to 10 and we can reduce the occluded color to something a little bit less dark and go closer to the previous color that we have. So you can see that now we have a more of definition on the furniture and vegetation object. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.